In this supplemental lab, we're going to take a look at a way to create a quick and easy portfolio of your solid models in your selected CAD system, in this case SOLIDWORKS. Here I've picked out our exercise 6 part file that we use. And first of all, you might notice if you zoom up to it, it looks like it's faceted, where there should be a nice smooth radius. To fix that, you might want to go to the Options menu at the top and go to Document Properties and want to go to, uh, in this case, Image Quality. You'll see in the Image Quality, you can actually grab this little bar, drag it all the way to the right, just about when it starts getting near the red area there. When it gets in the red, that means that it's going to slow down your computer. You could even bump it up higher if you want. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And you should see very quickly now that everything is smoothed out. It looks much better. Okay, another thing that we want to do is let's go ahead and we're going to activate our rendering tools. So we go to Office Products and hopefully have Photo View 360 if you have the Office Premium version of SOLIDWORKS. And then go to Render Tools and you can do an integrated preview. Now with integrated preview, depending upon the processing power of your computer, you could very quickly get a rendered image on here. And the longer you wait, the crisper it's going to get, or improve the image will look. And as you can see here, this doesn't look too bad, but perhaps I want to change some things. For example, I could right click on this part and find the beach ball, hit the little arrow to the right of the beach ball, and you can see you could adjust colors on faces, the actual features, the body, or the entire part, which is the exercise 6. By clicking on this edit color button, we could go to the part there. And then if you go up to the top right, you'll find a little plus symbol next to the beach ball for appearances. I'm going to go with a metal. And I'm going to go with, let's say we want to change this to aluminum, and we want cast aluminum. So if we scroll through here, we'll see eventually we'll get to cast. We could give cast aluminum a try. And as we wait, we'll eventually see it improve the image. Some of the things, though, that we might want to focus on here are areas that are not, that are machine finished. So it will make it look more realistic that way, as if um, it went, it's gone through a finishing process. So what we can do for that, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the green check mark. And I'm going to turn off integrated preview. And some of the faces like that are flat here, I'm going to go ahead and select these. Imagine that these are actually milled out and drilled out in some cases. Now you could select the features from the tree as well. Like in this case, I could find the counterbore and the circular patterns and select those two. Once we have those selected, now we could go back to uh, actually right click on them, go to the beach ball, and this time go to the faces. And we should be able to select under aluminum, polished aluminum for these faces and hit the green check mark. Another uh, item that adds realism is turn on perspective. And we'll go back to isometric here. And zoom up. Let's hit integrated preview. And we'll see how that turns out. Okay, in this case, um, I like what we're getting. We just have to wait a while longer to get it to uh, continue on with the rendering. Eventually, we'll get to a point where we could actually um, we'll do a print screen. Just give it another minute here. You can actually export these two under where you have final render. You could select that and, and grab it, the image that way. Again, as you can see, as we wait, 
it just keeps improving and improving further. And so, with that, we'll just give it a minute. I'm going to pause to let it uh, continue on here. Okay, so after waiting a minute, basically, I think we're at a level here, which looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Alt. Actually, uh, you can just hit Print Screen if you have one screen. If you have multiple screens, you want to hold Alt, Print Screen. So on your keyboard, right next to your spacebar, there's the ALT, Alt. Hold that down. And then in the upper right area of your keyboard, you'll find PRT, Screen, or S-C-R-N, Print Screen. Hit that one time. Release Alt. After you hit Print Screen. And now we're going to start up Microsoft Word. So find Microsoft Word. In this case, I have Word 2010. And first of all, I'm going to type in type in your name, and then you could go ahead and put in your, in this case, SolidWorks portfolio. If you want, you can put the date down or any additional information. Uh, in this case, I'm going to put this down as E6 for exercise 6, or actually, we'll call it part 6. And put a little dash, and just you could usually put a little sentence or paragraph, but this is this part um, utilizes, uh, is created using the revolve feature. And you could go on and expand upon that. And we'll put down for a, a little of casting, and so on and so forth. Okay, once you have that, hit your Enter key again. And I'm going to Control V, which is paste. Control V is in Victor. And you see your part there. Now you could leave up this information on the sides, but it actually looks a lot nicer if you click on it, go to Format. And crop it. Click on crop here. Grab the little frames, the little black frames at the corner. Drag with the left mouse button. Don't grab the little dot. Grab the frame. Drag it in. Click to release it. Now hit escape and then click on the actual image. You could increase the size by grabbing out the corner. And if you go to format, there's several different picture frames you could choose from. So, for example, I could go in and just pick from whichever one I prefer. Like I could click on this, the rotated picture frame. I'm going to hit enter here afterwards. Now, what you might want to do is put a copy of the drawing in there. So, if you've created a drawing from this, let's say um, I went ahead and Okay, so here I actually created a quick little drawing, and so I probably, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop this into, so again, I'm going to hold Alt and Print Screen, go back to my Word document, and Control V to drop it in. Go to Format and crop it down, the same way we did the last one. Click in the white area. And you could actually enhance this as well. You could go to Format and Text Wrap. You could put it in front of text or behind text. I'll put it behind text. Give it an interesting effect here. You could do something like that. Now with the image, we have Format. We could uh, set it like that. And then we could also go to the Corrections. With corrections, we can lighten it up a bit. Maybe if we make it a little bit bigger. All right, so here that's just an example 
and you can just keep going and adding additional pages. So for example, we'll just go down here, insert page break, and then we could go on to exercise seven, put in the details for that. And this will help you make a nice little portfolio, hopefully, uh, of your work. For every exercise or lab, you can put a little something together like that. And it's very impressive to a prospective uh, employer. And again, I'm just going to save this. You can save it as a PDF or a Word document so you could edit it easily. And that's pretty much it. And that concludes this lab.